When we are multiplying a two-digit number, one that has tens and ones, times a one-digit number, one that just has ones, <coughs> it's a lot different from addition. Addition, we just line them up and add up our ones, add up our tens, and then we have our answer. Multiplication's <laughs> different. Okay, if you had me in second grade, you probably remember when I talked about the one-way windshield wiper. It starts and sweeps across, but it's not a very good windshield wiper. It doesn't come back. Okay, because that means we basically have to multiply our number by the ones and the tens. How it starts, sweeps its way across. Okay. So first, I have four times seven. Four times seven. Can someone raise their hand and tell me what four times seven is when I call on you? Nathan. 28. 28, that's right. But I can't just put 28 down here. I put my 8 from 28 that's in the 1's place down here. And then I put my 2 up here. Kind of like carrying an addition. Okay. Now, like I said before, it's like a one-way windshield wiper. I already went here. Now it goes all the way across. I already multiplied it by 7. Now I gotta sweep across and multiply it by the number that's in my tens place. Who can tell me what 4 times 3 is? Kylie. 12. 12. But am I done yet? No, because I have this 2 up here that I got from my 28, don't I? Now I don't go 4 times 3 times 2 or add them up and go 4 times 5. Nope. I go 4 times 3, and when I get my product, I add this number up here. So like Kylie told me, 4 times 3 is 12. What's 12 plus 2? What's 12 plus 2? Ariza? 14. 14. So i got to put my 14 down here. 14. So my answer is 148. I didn't just line them up on top of each other and multiply through. I used my broken windshield wiper. I, and I multiplied it by the ones and the tens. If I had a hundreds place, I'd multiply it out here as well. Okay. And then when my number is more than ten, I put it up top. Then after I multiply, I add. So 37 times 4 is 148.